Today we are going to practice solving cube roots. So let's just review a square root. So if um, this symbol here is called a radical, and if there's no number before it floating up in the air, there is really an implied two, and that's telling you to find the square root, which means what number times itself two times is equal to 100, or that number under the radical symbol. So that would be 10, because 10 times 10 is 100. And that bugs me that that one is teeny, so I'm going to fix that. Okay, so the answer to the square root of 100 would be 10. So now if instead there's a different number there, that number is telling you how many times that number needs to times itself by to equal the number under the radical. So for this one, the cube root of 8 means what number times itself 3 times is equal to 8. So let's try 2. 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. So that works out. Let's try this one. It's a little bit trickier. So the cube root of 64, we have to find a number that times itself three times is 64. All right, let's think about maybe the number eight. Eight times eight is 64, but we have to have another factor. So it's gonna have to be less than eight. Maybe let's try six. Six times six is 36, but 36 times six would be definitely over 64. So that's gonna be too large. All right, um, it's probably not gonna be five because 64 is an even number. So let's try four. 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times 4, yep, that would be 64. Perfect. So the answer to this one would be 4. All right, let's see if we can find the cube root of a negative number. Let's see. All the numbers have to be the same, so let's see if we made these all negative. A negative times a negative is a positive, and a positive times a negative is a negative. So that could work out. Now we have a bunch of zeros here, so I'm gonna guess that it's probably a number that ends with zero. So I'm gonna pick 10. 10 times 10 is 100, and 100 times 10 is 1,000. So that would work out. So the answer to that one would be negative 10. All right, let's try a word problem. Leah is building a birdhouse for purple martins, birds that prefer cubed shaped birdhouses. Now, um, let's just review the word cube. Cube means there is a square on all of the sides and a square has the same length and width. What are the dimensions of each square piece of wood Leah needs to build the 216 cubic inch birdhouse? So Leah is trying to find the cube root of 216. So we need to figure out what the length and the width and the height are of that birdhouse. And they all have to be the same to make it a cube. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to start with the number eight. I'm just going to grab my calculator here and I'm going to do eight times eight times eight. That equals 512. That number is too big. So I'm going to drop down to 6. 6 times 6 times 6. Ooh, perfect. That worked out. All right. So the cube root of 216 would be equal to 6. And in this case, it would be inches. 